New at 6, it is the crash clearing push you might have seen along Colorado highways. Right now, crews across the state are training to move crashes out of the way. Melissa Garcia is live. And Melissa, this technique aims to make the roads more safer. It does, Dominic. Lots of law enforcement vehicles have these big black bars up front. It's called a push bumper. The idea is why not use them to clear crashes from the roads and keep drivers safer? If you're a Colorado driver, you're all too familiar with scenes like this. Crashes on the interstates can cause big backups and long waits. Push it off the scene. Colorado State Patrol is leading a statewide effort to make highways smoother and safer. Most trooper cars have push bumpers on the front so they can shove broken down or crashed vehicles right out of the way. Getting traffic flowing is safer. CSP Chief Colonel Matthew Packard says not only does the push keep traffic flowing, it also prevents secondary crashes and improves safety for first responders. The same stretch of I-25 in Douglas County is where Trooper Jamie Jerzevics and a year later, Trooper Cody Donahue were hit and killed while responding to accidents. L literally lives depend on it. So is it the reason we're doing it? No. But is it an added motivation to make it a little bit more personal to the men and women of the state patrol and first responders? Absolutely. So far in August, CSP has already seen 19 deadly wrecks claiming 20 lives. That number is completely appalling and unacceptable to me. These are human beings. Um, that's somebody's mother, somebody's brother, somebody's sister. I don't want that next notification today or tomorrow or the day after that. And if you're involved in a wreck and your car is blocking traffic, just know that it could be pushed off the highway. Officials say that responders are already using this technique every day. We're live in Denver, Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. All right, Melissa, thank you.